He lived to the age of 102, only to die at the hands of a murderer, a beloved grandfather killed by an attacker with an ax who terrorized an exclusive Encino neighborhood. Stunned family members speaking out tonight, remembering a man who dedicated his life to his family. Here's more now from Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter, live in Encino. Leanne? Mark, the victim's family demanding answers. That suspect behind bars tonight is the 102-year-old's family struggles to comprehend the horrific crime. The investigation continues into the night after a brutal and deadly attack. The suspect armed with an ax and knife, police say. The victim, according to family members, a 102-year-old grandfather. Heartbroken loved ones stunned by the violence. My wife is hor horrified to hear that he was murdered by some ax wielding psychopath. He must have been deranged or on drugs or something. The chaotic crime scene unfolding in the hills of Encino. The first calls coming in just before noon of the armed suspect walking through the neighborhood with his dog after attacking a 34 year old resident cutting him. Police arresting the suspect, animal control taking custody of the canine. An hour later, though, the case taking a deadly turn when Yosef Makmubian was found beaten and cut inside his garage. I thought he fell. I had no idea. My, they told me he fell in the garage and my cousin came home and found him. So I, I just thought he slipped and fell because he was an older man. I had no idea there was a guy with a machete running around killing people. It's a really nice neighborhood. Like you don't worry about harm. You don't need to see that type of stuff. And it's crazy that this went on. Makmubian's grandson says he was dedicated to his family and his wife of 65 years, the couple living in the quiet neighborhood for decades. He came to this country from Iran decades and decades ago, and they've been living peacefully in Alonzo Place for 30 years. This is heartbreaking. The suspect has now been identified as 47-year-old Adam Dimmerman. He's being held on $2 million bail. Police at this point aren't commenting on the motive. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.